Hello everyone and welcome to round 7 of the ARL F1 2012 Season 6. It's the European Grand Prix, we're going around Valencia today. I'm Matthew Gallagher and joining me once again is my co-commentator, Brian Littemore. Pleasure to be back and we're going to be here for 29 laps around Valencia. It's not a great overtaking place, we'll see how it goes. It's going to be very interesting indeed. The Season 5 podium was Tirano Tigger taking the victory from Big Shot Player and Tim Marduk in third place. Of different names to the last few races that we've seen. And the Season 5 pole position was Tirano Tigger himself with a 135 flat. Noble 299 disconnected last year, so let's see what happens this time. This week's comparison sees the front row pairing of Randy McScraney 1 and Noble 2909 on the track. Turn 1 is easy flat with DRS as they then try and get it all slowed down for the difficult turn 2. Very easy to snatch a break and hit the wall on the outside but they both navigate through it well before coming through turn 3 and now at the trick of turn 4 and 5 chicane. Both drivers sacrificing exit speed of the left to open up the right and as they ride over the kerb it's Randy carrying better corner speed which as you can see as they now pass through the first set to split. Randy is already ahead by 2 tenths at this point of the lap. As they pass through this right-handed hairpin, it's Randy hitting the apex perfectly whilst Noble sliding wide by around the car length, costing him more time on this lap. As they pass over the bridge and through the tight right-hander, now down the first of these back straights. Both drivers on the curves and DRS, shifting through the gears as they thread their way between the barriers. Worth pointing out that this is the only DRS straight under race conditions. As both drivers now spot their braking marker, come down the gearbox and round the right-hander before flicking the car left and then bringing the car back to the left-hand side of the track to get the best run through this difficult right-hander. Trying to get as close to the barrier on the inside as possible before coming down this, the second of the back straights on this circuit. Now we're using the rest of his curves to try and make up a bit of time he's lost on this lap already, but as they cross the second sector, the gap has opened up between them by another tenth or so. Randy a with a little lock up through this right handed hairpin which means he's missed the apex slightly which has cost him a fair bit of time as they now pass through this weaving section of track. Making sure to keep the throttle now down and wait to get it on the DRS as they're there which is now heading down towards the tricky braking zone at the final corner. So easy to lock up as drivers are still trying to turn the car right before opening up the final corner as much as possible. They both get through their fine and it's Randy taking a brilliant first pole for him in the F1 league with a 35.586 with Noble, two tenths back on a 35.814. Many thanks to Harry Jacks for that, as we have a new pole sitter as Ronnie McScrandy set the fastest time with a 135.5 with Noble 2909 two temps back on the medium compound tyre. Big Shot player was third with iProx Callum getting his best uh, starting position this season in fourth with FizzyFan91 in fifth, Tracy 92 in the McLaren in sixth with Rich in seventh, Tyrrell Limits is eighth with Maisie and LC Speed even completing the top ten. F1X Crocky 22 is in 11th, ACR Jordan comes in 12th place in the Ferrari and Ryan L83 completes the 13 man grid uh, in 13th with X Mighty G, Bedhead Ned and the Continents not taking part. We are in for 29 laps of action pack racing, let's head out onto the grid. It's the European Grand Prix. The weather's clear. It's X Money G and Ryan and 83 commentating. And I'm really looking forward to this one, Ryan. I am indeed. We have a very range of split strategies, as we said. No ball on the hards and Randy on the options, and everyone around is on options as well. We're going to be intrigued for 29 laps. Matt, you yeah, take us through the start. Yeah, here we go. We've got three lights. We've got four. We've got five. And we're away! The lights go out pretty quickly and Noble 299 wants to get in front of Randy McScrandy on the prime tyre. As we're now on board with Ricky C in 7th place, trying to hold position and maybe look up the inside of Tracy 92 into Turn 1. Is he making it stick there, Ryan? I think he is as Maisie CZ looking around the outside and maintaining 9th place. He is, and we can see on the mini-map there is some cars that did not go off the start. And there's contact like there the in the front, Ryan! Noble's hit Randy! An absolutely rare mistake and from Noble there, and Randy it seems like he's got away with it. Yeah, I was about to say as well, Fizzy made contact with Viperox Callum as well. All happening here on the first lap here at Valencia. Yeah, and gosh, I can't believe that Noble. And now Noble sticking up the inside of Big Shot, taking Tra second Trace. place. And Trace has got to go around. He's gone around Big Shot and is up into third place. This is a Trace. brilliant start for uh, Trace Me 92 here. As Ricky's like, he's, oh, no, he's lost it to Big Shot. Big Shot's probably got a bit of curves left. Gets that done. 
and we're back on board with Noble coming towards the end uh, of this long straight. DRS is not activated, remember, until lap number three. Big Shot looks like he's made a bit of a late move there and just takes Noble out, it looks like there, man. He's taken out Noble completely. That is an awful mi misjudgment from Big Shot there. It looks like he's missed his braking point completely and then just wiped the back of Noble's car out there. I mean, there was a little bit of contact be before when Noble went up the inside before the bridge, but gosh, Big Shot has definitely misjudged his braking point and taken Noble out into fifth place. And he's on the primes as well. So this doesn't look like it's going to be as easy as it's been in the last few races, Ryan. No, it won't. And just what I say, Ryan L83 has jumped from last place to sixth pla seventh place there. He's benefited big time from those incidents. But uh, he's got past his teammate Fizzy, so Ryan's done a pretty good job. But if he can keep up there, as we see Ricky there lagging out a bit there. But if Ryan can keep up with Fizzy, could he be with a chance of a very good points finish here? As Trace Possibly. 92. Uh, sorry there, Matt. As we're going to get a replay of the start. And yeah, look at that. I think I've never seen that before, Matt. Oh my god. <laughs> the lights are on at a completely different time for F1 X Crookie. And he was just left sitting there as the car, I think it was, was it Jordan, came up the back of him. It was right. And just gave him a little bit of a nudge. That is, oh, I can't imagine how much he must have been raging as we get a replay of Fizzy crashing into Callum, getting a penalty, penalty which I think he definitely deserved. As Callum, he had a great start in fourth place on the grid. And, you know, he may have been looking for some really solid points. And there's the the, the incident with uh, Big Shot and Noble there as well. But, you know, we can't be discounting Noble at all. Although Randy does have a very healthy lead out in first place. He does. And I just want to point out as well, LC Speed Demon had the same thing as F1X Crookie at the start. But he was only delayed by about one to two seconds. But Crookie there, the big loser out there, not his fault at all. And yeah, that's a shame, but it happens on F1. But as you said, Randy has a massive advantage now. He's got his teammate behind him. And uh, uh, Trace 92 gets passed by TRL Limitless and has dropped to third place. But this is really good for McLaren and the constructors. If uh, Matt's not racing this week and Noble's down in fifth, McLaren have a good chance of getting some big points here. Yeah, definitely. And Trace, you know, he was holding second place as he's now looking around the outside of TRL Limitless. He wants that second place back. I don't think he think, feels that he's got the pace to keep second place, but he definitely will try. As Ricky C now having a little bit of a look at Trace 92, but he's going to have the outside line for the next corner. Is he going to look up the inside? No, I don't think. I think he's thought better of it. And Trace holds on to third place for now as Noble now right up the back of Ricky C on his prime tyres and Fizzy Fan right behind Noble as well. Is anyone going to look into the final corner here? It doesn't look like it. I think they're just keeping within the line, within the little train that they've got going there. And, um, you know, they're all holding each other up. And Randy, if he can put in some hot laps, he can just cont to continue extend extending his lead. He will. As, as you can see, one to lap number three. Randy sets a 141.3 and is eight tenths quicker than Noble, who is on the primes, remember. And uh, one thing Noble has to worry about is Ricky in front. He is lagging. A bit, but he won't be uh, distracted by that noble as he makes a slight little twitch there on the wheel, using a bit of his curves there to try. And he's looking like he's trying to make a move here. It looks like on Ricky, or he's just planning to maybe make a risky move as we're back on board with Fizzy. As uh, Trace Man 2 goes a bit wide, it looks like he's like, he hit the noble wall there. around the outside of Ricky C there, Ryan. Sorry to cut across you, but it looks like Noble's now going up into fourth place and he may well take Trace as well on this straight because DRS is enabled, although. I'm hearing that Trace actually has DRS as well. I'm not too sure how, but I yes, you know he's maintaining third place because he had DRS there, Ryan. A very strange little glitch. I think it's when both cars are identically crossing the line at the same time. I think they both get DRS there, so it's a bit strange. I think it is a bit of a glitch on the game. As uh, Ryan looks like he's going to try and make a move on his teammate there, looks like, and is he going to get it done? The side by side coming down towards the happen. This is going to be interesting. Who, has, who can break late, and Fizzy's done that. And uh, we're back on board with Maisie as Ryan cuts a bit of the corner, he loses it at the back end there, Maisie just takes the opportunity and goes up into seventh place, and Ryan made that mistake, and he's got it all to do now if he's going to catch up to his teammate. Yeah, definitely. He's had a good start to the race, a little bit of a mistake there, lost a the position, but I think overall we'll be happy with, with where he is right now, uh, considering it's only lap, the end of lap three. And we've now got a replay of Macy CZ. Looks like he's going to go up the inside of LC Speed Demon into the hairpin. I think we caught the end of this uh, little bit here. Yeah, we saw that there. And uh, we're now on board with Noble, who is following Trace Me 92. And looks like TRL Limitless, who only recently got ahead of Trace, 
is quite a way down the road in second, maybe trying to hunt down Randy. I think that, you know, I think they definitely should be lapping a little bit faster, you know, considering Noble is being held up and is on the primes and has still set a 42-1, which is only eight tenths off the pace of uh, the front runners. So I think they're going to have to be putting their foot down unless they really want Noble to be catching them towards the end of the race. Yeah, I'm just about to bring into the fact about tyre wear here, and the drivers have been struggling on the option tyres. They don't last till maybe nine to ten laps, so they just want to get to that range as quickly as possible. Um, it will be a one-stop as always. We're going to see Noble here using DRS to get past uh, Traceman and Stu and back into the podium positions. It's like he's knocked um, up a little bit though, and he's gone yeah, wide. He's gone off. He's gone and off. Trace is now looking to get back past Noble. Yeah, I think Noble's not going to be able to keep third place. And he's going to have to concede the position again for at least another lap. Yeah, as you can see there, Ryan L83 has sadly disconnected once again. His bad run of form continues with his internet. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a shame. But uh, back on board with Noble, he's got Ricky in pursuit. Looks like he's gone around the outside there, Ricky. Is he going to get it done? No, he doesn't. He's uh, looking at he the inside, inside now, line. and he has. Oh, no. oh Noble's taken on the no. inside line. And Ricky, yeah, he's locked, went too wide. And Fizzy's going to take the opportunity here. Is he going to get past Ricky up into fourth place? The side by side coming towards the final corner. Fizzy does the reluctant thing and just break a bit early, but he's gone wide. And is Ricky going to get back the position? It does, doesn't look like he will. And Fizzy up is up into fifth place now. He's having a brilliant drive here. Yeah, great race by Fizzy once again. He's sh he's found his form after racing in that very odd camera angle the first few races. He's realised that you know this T cam that Maisie CZ uses. And a lot of the other drivers is the quickest way to do it, just in terms of just the camera angle and seeing the corners. And he's definitely found pace. And look, he's up into fifth place. He, he cannot be more... Well, he, he's going to be completely uh, satisfied with that, isn't he, Ryan? He will be. Fizzy's uh, always locked up. and uh, yeah, that's... He's stuck in fifth gear. So what's going on here? It looks like, yep. Yeah. His wheel's disconnected. His wheel's disconnected. That is unbelievable fortune. There's a bit of commentator's curse going on there, Ryan, because this is clearly live. But um, Fizzy Fan, oh, that is such a poor, poor thing for him to happen. Considering he looked like he had the pace to keep fifth place as well. So, oh, God knows. Is he is he running yet, Ryan, or not? I think he's, yeah, he's got away with it, I think. No, he's not. He's still there. He's still, look on the minimap. There is a car stopped at that section where Fizzy stopped. So he's still, still there. And he's still, I think he's frantically trying to get his uh, wheel back up and connected back to his Xbox. But this has really... I think this could have cost him a point, but there you go, he's back up now. But look well, at the amount of time he's lost from the wheel disconnecting. He must be thinking, what do I have to do to get some luck in this league? He's been taken out various times, and now his wheel's disconnected him in on lap five. Unbelievable. He's at least half a lap behind now. He's going to be extremely lucky to get any points. He will. But as we get back to the action, though, up front, and we have Trace, who's cut the, cut, cut the final quarter there, but... He's been given a warning. Uh, he's got Ricky behind. He's only three tenths behind, but Noble's pulling away. He's 1.6, I think. Is that right, Matt? 1.6? Yeah, 1.6 seconds ahead. And Noble he's, is. He's just at the fastest lap as well. On prime, so it's showing that Noble does have the raw speed to catch the leaders, even on his, or even on what is supposed to be the slower tyre. But as the laps go on, the tire, the, you know, the option tyre will be wearing, as you said. The tyre degradation is quite high here. So the option runners will be starting to struggle as Limitless looks like he's yeah. run very wide going onto the bridge there, Ryan. Yeah, I think the only issue with the tyres is the rears and in this particular section there across the bridge is very difficult. You've got to use a short shift, I sometimes I do, around here. As uh, we can Just have a quick look at Noble's tyres there. They're all fine and dandy, but if, you, if we go on board with one of the drivers who are on options, the rears will be orange a bit. So this is probably the sign of uh, some guys may pit a bit early to try and get an undercut on some of the guys who might stay out and try and get to the to optimum target of maybe at lap 8, 9 or 10 at this point. As Noble, who's tactically there, Matt, you can see, has got half his curves left. Is he, he going to try and make a move out of the final corner or is he going to try and do it before it? Yeah, I think he's saving that half curves for the, fight out of the, the run out of the final corner so that it's quite a long stretch to turn one. Well, sorry, turn two, actually, because turn one's kind of non-existent on this track, but still is a turn. And, um, yeah, I think he will be saving it as we're looking now. He's going around the final corner. He's taking a little bit of a wide entry, so he gets on the power early. He's now going to use the rest of his curves. I think he's in rich fuel mixture as well. Limitless looks like he's a bit of a sitting duck, to be honest. A bit of a DRS effect going on here as he's now going up the inside and up into second place. So Noble 2909 
Although after that first corner, oh, sorry, not first corner, first lap incident, he's a back up into second place on the slower tyre, and you've got to say he is looking very good indeed. He is. I think he's only about, I would say, two, three seconds behind Randy Mixgrandy, and his tyres will be going as well. So uh, Randy's only option is he's just got to keep pushing Randy as if he's got any chance of winning the race as Ricky is now on the back of uh, Trace 92 still, so uh, Trace is doing pretty well in fourth place here, Matt, so he's having a good race here. Could he be on yeah. chance for a podium, possibly? Yeah, he's having a good outing. I think maybe a podium is a little bit too far for him, to be honest. I think he's had a really good start to the race. He's up in fourth, but I don't think he's got the pace to match you know, Randy and Limitless, who, you know, as you can see, are quite far down the road and it's only lap seven. But I think Trace will be extremely happy fighting for fourth or fifth place, considering he sort of lacks the practice and general sort of motivation to play this game. So fourth place for him, he'll take that any day. He will. And uh, Ricky as well, He's, as we've said in previous races, he's having an incredible start to his season. He's had, podium, he's had a podium, I think, in Kuala Lumpur. He, has he had one in China? Uh, but he's mainly been in the top six in every race apart from Australia. So he's, he's done pretty well since coming up from GP2 as he's got DRS and I think he could make a move here on Trace and he does with ease I think. He does, he goes around that outside line and does he make it stick? He does and he is up into third place but... Oh, oh what was that? I think someone's pitted I think. As a... Uh, yeah, it must be because yeah, Trace is up, is up into fourth. So that, yeah, it must be Limitless because we haven't got any footage and I'm guessing we've got footage of Randy and Noble's race. So, yeah, it looks like Limitless has pitted very early indeed. At the, what was it the end of lap seven he did it? Yeah, end that of lap is, seven. That is extremely early. I think he's going to be struggling. Oh, gosh, his trace runs very wide indeed. You can see he's struggling on his tyres. I think he's. <laughs> I think Limitless will definitely be struggling towards the end of the race and may well sort of fall prey to the, the runners that stay out a little bit longer. Yeah, as I think Maisie might be pitting as well. And I Oh no, I thought uh, Trace Matt 2 was going to pit, but Maisie's coming into the pit lane uh, to put the prime tyres on and can Force India. Can we see a, a two second pit stop here? I hope so. If, for Force India, if he's going to get out ahead of uh, the likes of LC and Cookie. And it's a three second pit stop. And it's a very uh, slow pit exit. Is it 60 miles an hour or is it 30 miles an hour? I'm pretty sure it's 60. If it was 30, I think that I think that's uh, <laughs> that's cars yeah, in the town, isn't it? <laughs> I think it is 30 because it's uh, Maisie's got it in kilometres an hour, so I think 60 kilometres an hour is about 30. Yeah, because Valencia is classed as a street circuit, and I think all oh, streets have to be 30 miles an hour. Good shout. Either way, it's a very short pit in terms of actual length. I think it's a very short pit. Uh, sorry, pits in general. So. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a very slow um, speed limiter. It's just like in Silverstone, isn't it? Silverstone is extremely yeah. slow. It is very slow. And just look at this. Uh, Noble is right on the back of Randy. Randy is staying out. So that ten. So I've got to give him credit for staying out. But he's. Just, I think he's a sitting duck here. I think he could get overtaken just before the end of the straight here. As Noble will probably use all of his curves, I think, to try and get past. Or he might just tactically stay behind, wait for Randy to pit, and then just just go full power and just go for it I think. yeah he hasn't used much of his curves so I don't he's not gonna get on the back of Randy down the end of this straight at least but um, well I think he may well be saving his curves just like he did for limitless out of the final corner so it'll be interesting to see where Noble does this but uh, he's not in any rush you know he's he's definitely saved what could have been an, an awful afternoon for him but uh, he's right behind the leader and he's on the prime tyre, so you've got to be thinking, Noble, who probably has the outright pace on everyone in this league, is looking good for the victory once again, which you wouldn't have thought after the uh, incidents. No, I wouldn't. I would have thought, when uh, Noble uh, hit another by a big shot, I would have thought Noble has got no chance, but he's, he's just showing how he is what he is why he is a two-time uh, F1 champion here. He's just showing that he can, whatever uh, situation he's in, he will still do anything in his power to take the win. As we will see, Randy coming to the pit lane okay, in with his McLaren mechanics out. Are they going to do a two second pit stop? I hope so. Again, uh, no, it's another three second pit stop there. So these guys are not doing pretty well as we've got a double shuffle here as uh, Trace Minus 2 coming into the pits as well. And it's another three second pit stop again. So, yeah, the two McLaren's done a nice little switcheroo there. The yeah, pit stop definitely. Place, so they're on the way uh, yeah it's really good actually I mean looking back to Monaco when uh, Noble and 
X Money G had to do a bit of a double shuffle at the sort of the start or near the start of the Monaco Grand Prix. Because X Money G had damaged his wing, he was sitting in the pit box for about five seconds waiting for one of the mechanics to go and get a flipping front wing out of the garage. So um, it could have been a little bit worse for um, who was it who came into the pit second? I've completely brain phased Thanks. there. Trace, yeah, it could have been really bad for Trace if he'd had a bit of damage to his front wing, but he didn't, luckily, because he can actually drive, unlike x G around Monaco. But um, Trace has come out behind Maisie, who I'm assuming has he pitted? I was just going to say, uh, Trace came out ahead yeah, of Maisie, and then he made a mistake. Uh, I think it was turn five or six, and Maisie overtook him just before the bridge. So Maisie's up into fifth, but uh, Trace has the DRS, so he's going to catch up here. But I think the thing, uh, Trace has got no curs, and I think Maisie has about a quarter, so Maisie will have an advantage over Trace in this little um, section here, where it used to be the DRS, yeah, there was two DRS uh, zones in the previous game, but in this game there's only one, so uh, Jody's, uh, Trace has got a hell of a job if he's going to try and reclaim uh, four Oof. position as Ricky locks up there. Oh, very interesting way of coming into the pits there. He's lost another bit of his front wing. Looks like he already had a damaged front wing, and now his controller's disconnected. Not too sure what's going on there, but uh, we'll find out in a minute, I'm sure, as we're now back on board with Tracy 92 who's fallen off the back of Maisie a little bit. And um, we're now back on board with Ricky, whose controller has reconnected itself. What a lucky boy. I think he might, I think he might lose out here to both Maisie and uh, Trace with the broken wing. As he's coming out the pit lane, he's lost the place to Maisie, and is he going to lose it to Trace? He does. So if he didn't crash into that wall, he would be ahead of these two. So I think he lost about three, four seconds in that pit stop um, than uh, Trace and uh, Maisie did as well. I'm not too sure if he would have lost that much, Ryan, because it looked like from the uh, car indicator that he'd already lost a part of his end plate maybe earlier on in the race. So I think the only time he lost was the, the very strange line he took into the pit entry. But that could have still got him ahead of Trace, as it now looks like Crookie is going past um, Ricky C as well, round the, the outside. outside. But now Good he's not going to have DRS, for the, um, unless he's within a second of Trace, but I don't think he is. So he's now going to lose out potentially to Ricky C, is he? Let's have a look. So he's now going over DRS now. Ricky C's got DRS. It looks like Crookie may well have had it as well, because he didn't look like he was yeah. um, gaining much, as Trace locks up huge amounts into the last corner, and Crookie's now all over the back of him. He is, and I, Crookie's doing. We've not mentioned Crookie yet in this race, I think, apart from he made. I think he made a mistake on the first couple of laps, but he's in sixth place. He had a disastrous race in Monaco. Oh no, he didn't make a mistake, right? Did he? he was the one that was sitting on the grid. Yeah, yeah, so that, yeah, yeah. He did. He was what? He was like 20, 15 seconds off the pace, was he? I think, and he's in sixth place, so he's doing a stellar job so far. And it looks like he's going to overtake uh, Tracy, and he does. He's up into fifth place, and. He's on his way. I'm I think sure he... Crookie was Crookie was the one who was stuck on the grid, wasn't he? The one who, yeah, he yeah. was. He couldn't move off the grid, and now he's up into fifth place. He's got some excellent pace round here, and I'm sh I'm assuming he has pitted as well. Uh, uh, as it looks like Trace is going to regain what? the position. And this yeah. is a stellar drive if Crookie has pitted. Yeah, he has pitted as well because I, I think he started on the option tyre, and I think he came to the pits a bit early. I think. So yeah, he's, he's done an incredible job. They got to sixth place. I, I could be wrong, yeah. But if he has, then that's a stellar of a job for him if he's up there. Yeah, we'll find out. I'm sure in the next few laps because I'm guessing the prime runners, if there are any out there, will be sort of well. I mean, if, if there are any out there, nobles out there, Ooh. will be coming around in about eight lap eighteen or something along those lines. As it looks like Crookie's made a mistake, yeah, and uh, he's now fallen off the back of Trace. And now Ricky will try and get on the back of Crookie. Uh, of Crookie and it looks like he's actually lost DRS there, he's got another yeah. failure Ricky. He's, I think he's lost it coming on to the straight where DRS is but doesn't need to bother him any means anyways because he's going to try and uh, get past Crookie without even DRS which would be very impressive considering it, I think the DRS is a bit overpowered here in my honest opinion. Um, and we can cl clarif yeah, clarify that uh, Crookie did start on the options and did pit for the prime tyre so He's done well and he's gone a bit wide and just nearly hits Ricky there. And Ricky's got out of it well and he's up into sixth place and he's en route to catch up to Tracy who is two seconds up the road. Yeah, it seems like we may have cursed Crookie a little bit by all these uh, compliments that were flying about him because he was all over the back of Trace and actually in front of him at one point, I think. And now he's fallen behind Ricky due to just some very odd, just 
you know, mistakes that really could have been avoided. As it looks like now Noble is coming into the pits for his one and only stop onto the option tyres. He's got a 16.4 second lead over Randy McScrandy. I'm not too sure if that will be enough to uh, get him in front of Randy, but we will definitely find out soon. And even so, you know, he's going to be very close indeed. And, you know, if he is behind, I'm sure he'll just DRS past and uh, well, he'll definitely have the pace over Randy on the faster tyre. Yeah, as, he, as he's coming across the finish line and he does take the lead back from Noble, but they are both on different tyres and Noble does have the advantage as he's on the option tyre. And I'm very surprised he's pitted uh, early. I think he could have gone a bit longer on the prime tyres. But my only issue with Noble here is he's got to do 11 laps on options, on no, new options, but as we've mentioned with the laps of Limitless pitting on lap 7, maybe 8 and uh, Trace on 10, it really depends on how Noble pushes it now. Is he going to be aggressive and lose rear degradation, which may haunt him at the end of the race, or is he going to be conservative and just stay behind Randy until maybe the last five laps? Yeah, I think he's a quite a although he's extremely fast I think he's also quite good on his tires I mean he doesn't usually lock up or sort of he's not it doesn't look just the way that he sort of turns the car and steers around the track he's very sort of calm and composed there's no sort of double corrections and there's definitely no doing that of fizzy fan 91 straight into the wall and he's literally just gone past the pits as well so fizzy fan is having a torrid time out there today and uh, I think he, well, uh, he's probably on the verge of retiring, isn't he, Ryan? No, I, I, think, I know Fizzy. I, he would not retire. I think he, he will still, he will still continue. You never know. People may disconnect. They may, they might crash. So you never know in these races. Uh, we've had uh, already had a disconnection already from Ryan. So you never know. Anything can happen in these races. So we'll just keep going. Yeah, anything uh, can happen, and I'm sure. You know, I'm sure Fizzy will continue to the end of the race, but I can't imagine how frustrating that must be considering he was up in fifth place. As we're now back on board with Noble 2909, who is hassling all over the back of Randy. Noble knows that he has got this race pretty much well and truly in the bag here. He's just going to bide his time, save his fuel, get the DRS, and look like Randy's lost the back end a little bit, which is going to make Noble's life even easier as um, he's just going to wait for the DRS, I'm sure, and then just steam past him and then pop it into Rich and then just outpace Randy because of the, the fresh options compared to the primes. Yeah, as a big shot, uh, we've not mentioned a bit, has just set the fastest lap of a 39.6. But is this the moment where Noble will take the lead? It doesn't look like he will. He's not using any of his curves. So I think you are right, Matt, in saying that he might be fuel saving as he was on plus one as soon as he came out the pit lane. So... Uh, it'll be interesting to see what Randy's on as well in terms of fuel. And it looks like Noble's more confident on the brakes there as he broke a bit later than uh, Randy. Back on board with Ricky and he's got DRS and he's going to go around uh, the inside and take uh, Trace back up into fifth place. So these two are having a really good battle here and uh, don't count Big Shot out, he's in sixth place. And I think now Noble. Looking around the outside, going towards the hairpin. Randy's gone defensive on the inside. Randy now squeezing Noble out of track. Noble's going to have to get out of it. He does. So Randy. He's not going to give that first place up easily, so I think Noble, although it was a very odd place to try and overtake, because you know he could have just used all of his curves, open DRS, and steamed past him, but he decided not to that time. So maybe he's going to rethink his tactics for the next lap. Yeah, I, I think Noble. What Noble should have done there was maybe keep a bit of curves and do what he did on Limitless earlier on in the race, as he just set uh, 40.6. Is that as uh, Fizzy's in the pit lane, and it's a very horrible day for Marussia. They've had one person out of the race, and they've got the other driver, Fizzy, at the back. And I think he's been lapped as well, just to add some misery. And he's slowing down the pit lane. I don't know what's happening here. I think he's letting everyone through just so that he doesn't cause any sort of carnage. He's literally in it to see if anyone disconnects, I think. As we're now back on board with Noble2909, who is not over the, all over the back of Randy yet. And it looks like he may well have taken your advice, Ryan. And he's going to try and get very close to Randy come, coming towards the end of the lap. I think the, la the last corner braking zone is extremely difficult for pad users, which Randy McScrandy is one of. And um, I think Noble will definitely close. Look at the amount he's behind now. Let's see how much he closes up into the last corner. He's just so much more confident on the brakes. Look, he's almost on the back of him. And so now he's going to use his curves. And he may well get past Randy McScrandy into turn one. Randy's got no curves. He's got no answer for Noble 299, who's going round the outside and up into first place. Noble 299 back into the place where he 
has been all season. And Randy, I think he's he hasn't really got much answer to that, to be honest. No, he doesn't. I, I just think uh, Randy has to accept the feet here. As you can see, just see Noble is pulling away already from uh, Randy. But Randy's problem now is he's got Limbers behind. He's only just under two seconds behind. So there's still a fight going on. There's, there's a, there's a two-way horse for second place. Have we not said that already in this race? No, we haven't. No, we haven't. But you never know. Could still be a three-way horse. You never know. There's, the gap's only three seconds covering the top three. So. Yeah, but I'm sure that won't last for long, to be fair. Although, you know, Randy's still got DRS, but it's going to be an absolute monumental effort from Randy to stay on the back of Noble, who does look like pretty invincible this afternoon. He's been taken out, yet he is still in first place. What do these guys have to do in this league to win or have a chance of winning? I don't know, but uh, it's going to have to be a little bit more extreme than uh, taking him out. <laughs> I think they just got to pray that Noble doesn't come to every race. I yeah, just disconnections or something. But uh, Fizzy, he's gone purple in the middle sector, so he's pushing on those option tyres. So he's made two pit stops, and he did make that uh, crash at the final corner. He's, he's, he's going for pride now, I think, Fizzy. He wants the fastest lap, doesn't he? Yeah, he's giving himself a little bit of camera time there. like to see that, Fizzy, who probably would have had a bit more camera time. He puts it into neutral, very strange there. Coming up, up on the back of Big Shot, who he probably would have been racing, to be honest, if he had he not had those incidents, and does a 138.1, taking the new fastest lap on those fresh set of options. I'm sure Noble will maybe have an answer for that later on, as <laughs> Crookie just disappears right in front of Big Shot and disconnects. So there you go. There's one disconnection for Fizzy. All he needs now is one more, and he will have some points. Yeah, I know. He's, st he's still classified as 12th, though, because uh, he was a lap down. As we're going to see a replay of uh, Crookie disconnecting. Which is a shame, as I've experienced that many times this season. As a uh, Rob Boy Ricky, and we haven't said Maisie is in fourth place. That's very good. He's, he's only he's not going to get a podium, I think, because I think the top three are about ten seconds up the road. So Maisie will benefit a lot from this, as he's I think I think he's fighting for the relegation spots. I think as well. He's trying to get away from that. I think so. He, yeah. He's really going to benefit from this, I think, because you've got Crookie out, you've got Ryan out, uh, LC and Jordan, and I think I think they're like tenth, I think, and eleventh. I'm not 100 percent sure. Yeah, I think uh, I think Maisie is going to be absolutely ecstatic with this result, and um, even fifth place would be good enough for him, to be honest. And I think Ricky C does have the pace over Maisie CZ, and as you can see now, with DRS, easily gets past him into the braking zone. And uh, Maisie getting very close indeed to the back of Ricky C. There could have easily been some sort of lag bubble incident, which we haven't actually mentioned that word yet, although there was some in, la in uh, lap one, but we won't go there. Um, and it looks like Maisie's using the rest of his curves, maybe going to have a look at Ricky C into the hairpin. Is he going to stick up the inside? No, he's not. He's not going to do some Bahrain incident like uh, he had a few times uh, in the race, but um, he's just sitting behind Ricky and maybe have DRS for next lap. Yeah, as I just mentioned as well, uh, as Noble sets and uh, is broken to the 37s, uh, Trace from 92, he's very close to Maisie, so we're not going to get a two-way horse, we're going to get a three-way horse. Oh, as, as we've uh, now cut to the final lap, as we're awaiting footage from other drivers, apparently. So, I'm not too sure. I'm guessing not much happened from the uh, rest of the race but um yeah it's the final lap i'm waiting for it from other drivers as we're now just going round with fizzy fan 91 on lap 27 i'm assuming he's either a lap or two laps down as uh yeah lap 29 now uh we're on board with randy mcgrandy in a solid second position ryan so he's still ahead of limitless he is he's just over two seconds so he won't lose DR he won't get drs uh, limitless will uh randy can just comfortably take it home he is an optimal fuel but you know, never know. He's got up to Rich, which is very surprising. I'm, I'm very. Su I think he might just use it for the straight. He's used all his curves as well. Uh, Noble is seven seconds up the road, so Randy just got to be praying that he makes a mistake or his internet disconnects like he did last season. Uh, we've got Tracer in sixth place. He's got Big Shot, who's 1.3 seconds. So I'm wondering if Big Shot's got DRS or not. Has he tactically break late to get DRS or? I'm yeah. not 100 percent sure, but uh, along with Randy, Trace is in optimal. Oh, uh, as we've Maisie, got. Maisie's, Maisie's disconnected. Maisie's wheels disconnected from fifth place. Maisie's going to lose 
an excellent result as now Trace going oh, oh. up into fifth place. Big shot up into sixth. And Big Shot is all over the back of Trace as well, Ryan. So this could be an... Oh my gosh, look, Big Shot is right he's on gonna, the back of Trace. It. He's going to do it. I think he might do it here. I'm, I'm really sure his Noble will cross the line to take the victory. But we're not going to bother about that for now. As we're going to see Big Shot, is he going to go around the outside? The outside. Big Shot looking, looking around well. the outside. He's, he's, he's done it. I think it's contact. Oh, it's contact. There's contact. Looks like Big Shot's gone in the wall. Trace is around the wrong way. Looks like Big Shot's actually reset his car to track, which has put him actually back down where the hairpin is. So Trace is back it up into fifth place. Big Shot looking around the outside. Is he going to get it done? I don't think he will. I think that, that was very strange by Big Shot. I was surprised he would reset the car. But Maisie may have a sniffy. He's going to break late. Look at the inside. He's hit Big Shot. <laughs> He's done He's it. Hit Big Shot. He's understood he there. Oh. He's going to let Big Shot back through, is he? No, no. he's not. No, that's very, that is very surprising, but I've got to, that was really good to see that last lap as we can just see a there replay of what happened. Like um, but that was a risky move there from... that was I think that's a bit of lag there, I think, between yeah, Maisie I, and Big Shot. I think it's pretty obvious that Maisie's lag bubbled. Unfortunately, that term has come out again. That Maisie has lag bubbled big shot off the track there so I'm not too sure if there's any going to be any repercussions for Maisie who that was a very inconsiderate move to be honest on the final corner of the last lap but anyway Noble 2909 taking another victory in what seems like the championship is well and truly over but anyway Noble 299 taking the victory in just under 49 minutes from Randy McScrandy, only 6.1 seconds back, but I'm thinking he may well be ruining the chance of maybe getting his first victory in the F1 League. TRL Limitless in third place, 10 seconds back, with Rich C, another great performance in fourth place. He is racking up the points here. Fifth place, Trace Me 92, he's going to be ecstatic with that result. With Maisie CZ in sixth, he'll be thinking what could have been after that wheel disconnection on the last lap. Big Shot player in 7th, losing out to Macy CZ after that incident on the final corner with LC Speed Demon coming home in 8th place, getting a nice chunk of points there. Iprox Callum in 9th with Jordan coming home and getting another point in 10th place. Fizzy Fan in 11th with Crookie and Ryan disconnecting as x Money G, Bedhead Ned and Contadins did not start. It was an interesting race, Ryan, I'm not going to lie, I thought Noble may well have been in trouble, but again, he's come through and taken the victory. Yeah, yeah, Noble has to be the driver of the day. Uh, I'm yeah. considering he crashed or didn't crash. I just crash, want to point out there, Ryan, sorry, that Noble 209, obviously a massive gap. But x G, missing one race, has gone from second in the championship to sixth. Look it how shows. close it is. There's 13 points between one, two, three, four, five drivers. That's hotting up for a very good runners-up place in this championship. It is. Uh, it, it's going to be very interesting. and It just shows if you miss one race, you're going to lose big points. And that just shows there for Matt. He's dropped a load of positions there. So that's going to be interesting. And look at LC with that big chunk of points. He's gone from what, from no points to six points. And there's only four behind Ryan. So it'll be interesting. And look at the constructors. Torosso are just dominating it. Yeah, they are. As we've said before, I think that's over. But there's only four points between Sauber, Williams and Caterham. So that, again, is hotting up with McLaren having a little bit of a healthy lead in second. But I'm sure that will close up with, uh, obviously, the likes of the Saubers, the Williams. You know, they're very quick cars. So I'm sure that will be interesting to see over the coming races. But anyway, the next race is our home Grand Prix, or the people from Britain anyway. It's the Silverstone Grand Prix. I hope you guys join us for that one because I'm sure that will be an excellent race just like this one. I've been Matthew Gallagher. And I've been Ryan Littlemore. And we hope to see you next week for the Silverstone Grand Prix. Bye-bye. Take care, guys.